لا تحزن إن الله معنا Do not despair, do not be sad, do not lose hope for Allah is with us. See, one of the most powerful stories to me is the story of Musa alayhi salam in front of the Red Sea. I feel like within this story, there is like, it's like a narrative that explains our whole condition and the reactions that we have when we are faced with challenges. And, you sh and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows us in this story, he, he compares and contrasts the reactions of different people to the same external event or the same external obstacle. فَلَمَّا تَرَاءَ الْجَمْعَانِ قَالَ أَصْحَابُ مُوسَىٰ إِنَّا لَمُدْرَكُونَ When these, when Musa alayhi salam is now trying to escape Pharaoh, there's a Pharaoh following behind with his army. And now him and his people are faced, in, they're in front of the Red Sea. And there's an army behind them. And this is a superpower army. And they're a group of slaves. And now they're put in this very, very difficult situation. Do we find ourselves in a difficult situation just now? Yeah, kind of. We have only a couple more days, right? We are in a very difficult situation. And when the two, Allah says, when the two groups saw each other, the people of Musa, قَالَ أَصْحَابُ مُوسَىٰ إِنَّا لَمُدْرَكُونَ The people of Musa السلام, said, we will indeed be overtaken. That's exactly, exactly how many of us felt after the last election. We indeed will be over, إِنَّا لَمُدْرَكُونَ and that's a very natural reaction to being stuck in front of the Red Sea with a superpower army behind you. It's a natural reaction that we had. But I want to tell you something amazing, and that is the reaction of Musa alayhi salam. In that same exact situation, he's looking at the same situation, but his basira, his, his heart is looking at and focused on something else. Qala kalla. He said, no. By no means. The word kalla, as you know, is a very emphatic no way, absolutely not. Qala kalla inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen. Indeed, my Lord is with me and he will guide me through this. The reason why I love this story so much is because this story isn't just a story. It's awesome. It's something we tell our kids, but it isn't a bedtime story. It is a sign. And Allah actually continues to say in the Fidalika la ayah that indeed in this is a sign, but most people don't get it. Most people don't understand. It is you and I are never going to be in front of a large body of water with an army behind us, but we are going to be put in situations where we feel trapped. And we are going to be put in situations where we don't see a way out. And we and we feel that way just now. We feel we feel that way politically. We feel that way socially to a large degree. But what's so powerful here is how? How was Musa salam able to respond in that way? How was he able to say, no, we will not be overtaken. No, I'm not going to be shaken. We're, I'm, not even, I'm not even worried that we're going to be overtaken. Why was he able to do that? And the answer is because his focus was not on the problem. His focus was not on the, the Red Sea and his focus was not on the army. His focus wasn't on Trump. His focus was on Allah. His focus was that no, no, inna ma'ya rabbi sayahdeen, my Lord is with me. And if Allah is with you, you don't have to worry. He will guide me through. Allah is teaching us a timeless lesson. We're going to be put in situations where we feel trapped. That's a, that's a, that's a promise. We're going to be put in situations that look impossible. And what also strikes me about his story is that he didn't know how he was going to get out of that situation. It's not like people were going around splitting seas. This wasn't like a regular occurrence. And yet he did not worry, even though he didn't know how. See, for us, it's easy for us to say, oh, it's no problem because I got a plan, A, B, C, D. We know exactly how it's going to happen. But when you don't have any idea how it's going to happen and you still put your trust in Allah, that is tawakkul. He, he knew Allah is with me and he will guide me through. Now, now y'all are going to say, but what about doing our part? I know I'm at mass. What about doing our part? And the reality is what's so beautiful about this story is that although, although obviously Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to save him, Allah still asked Musa alayhi salam to take action. He's asked him to do something. 
he asked him to take his staff and strike the sea. And so he was still asked to take action. We are still asked to take action. Tawakkul and action are not separate. They have to go together. As the Prophet ﷺ says, that you have to tie your camel and at the same time, your trust is in Allah. Don't think that they're separate. So often I hear this translated as, um, tie your camel and then put your trust in Allah. It's not, that's not what it says. It says, when the man was told by the Prophet ﷺ, tie your camel and put your trust in Allah, the two are simultaneous. We don't work and then depend on our work and depend on our deeds for results. No, we work and we depend on Allah for results.